Hello and welcome to Suncorp Stadium where we have the Brisbane Broncos taking on the Gold Coast Titans. I am Snicko Bro. I'm joined in the commentary box by Riley Murray. It is Wednesday night and we are feeling all right. Riley, are you looking forward to this game? Yeah, absolutely I am. It's uh, going to be a very good game, a bit of a Queensland clash here. And uh, there's not many changes in either of the team lists here for tonight. Just the Broncos making one change, bringing Caleb Jeff into the starting side. And we've seen him come into the starting side a couple of times this season, and he's done a pretty good job for them. So I'm happy to see that uh, he's made his way back in there, and I'm keen to see how he goes. Yeah, and it will add some starch off the bench as well. Sam Lillard uh, slipping back into that 15 jersey. He'll be coming up against uh, a pretty strong Titans rotation. And I must apologize. We're actually at Seabus Super Stadium, not Suncorp. The... The Titans spruik so much about how they own Suncorp. I sometimes forget it's not actually their home ground uh, as they get us underway. And it goes down to Isaac Edwards. He goes straight off to the captain, Anthony MacDonald. Uh, and he's rubbed up there by the long-haired Yahoo, Christian McKay, who's uh, maybe going to play Origin tomorrow. Team's only out yet, but uh, he's just been sitting in the squad so far. And now Sonny Sharp takes his up. Before they go out to John Baker's, oh, and he goes long. I thought he was going to intercept for a second before Manu goes to Isaac Edwards and they're throwing the ball around a bit early here the Broncos set one and they obviously uh, they're backing themselves as now RK gets it and so I'm not 100% like sure what happened there Riley yeah that was that was definitely something I I think he's just chucked it into the back of a Titans player after he broke the line and oh Lachlan Martin he's making him pay for it now going straight through the line yeah Lachlan Martin straight through the line there you're right and put the Titans right on the attack as now Davis He's going to push forward. And as they're attacking the line, they're going to have the likes of Mike Lawson's recent debut on in the Origin Series. And he played great. And he, I talk him up and he throws the ball straight to the old teammate, Eddie Oliver. Eddie Oliver might have seen the team plans here. Uh, we know he loves the leak. He might have seen what the Titans are up to because he was all over that from Borsons. Yeah, absolutely. Very uh, telegraphed pass there from Borsons. It's not really what you'd expect from the from the Origin debut on. And... Uh, yeah, it's it's just not not the kind of class that we expect from Borsons, but I'm sure he'll bounce back. He's one of those players that you can always rely on to come back in uh, situations where they just mess up for themselves. Yeah, 100%. And the Broncos haven't really gone anywhere this set. Uh, five tackles, they're barely past their 30 meter line, so it's going to be up to John Bakers to kick him out of trouble. Uh, and he goes straight downtown, but Liam Ryan picks it up on the bounce, and this will be dangerous. He's straight past Ooh. Anthony MacDonald. Ooh, Raikamanu, unhappy with how his captain was stood up, just took him out with a high shot there. Yeah, Raikamanu having no mercy. That was, a, that was an absolutely deadly shot there. And uh, yeah, he gets like away it. with it. He's shown a lot of uh, lot of energy to start this game off. I guess you could call it, call it that. Maybe a bit of passion. Yeah, it's often the case when... Uh, the big brother's not, a, not at home. The little brothers tend to fight. And that's what we have here with the Gold Coast and the Brisbane. Uh, two of the lesser Queensland teams going against each other here. As Liam Ryan gets driven back in a great tackle there. And so they're going to squabble. We'll see who comes out on top uh, at the end of 80 minutes before Mark Lee goes out to Borsons. And he goes to the head of Tabasco, who uh, hasn't quite been putting out the numbers that he did last season for the Rubbers, But he's been pretty effective nonetheless. And then Christian McKay gets an off his head. Is he going to push over from here? Christian McKay opens the scoring very quickly here for the Titans. Oh, the try-scoring freak in Chris McKay. He can't be stopped. Eddie Oliver just having no luck there. All his teammates just looking around saying, oh, you got this, Eddie. But Eddie never had it. Probably took a look at that big uh, tattoo on McKay's forehead and just said, you know what, I'm not messing with that. And he just gets yeah, over yeah. nice and easy. Yeah, the ball bounced off that tattoo before Freaky McKay picked it up. Uh, so a bit poor charges there for them. But nonetheless, they're going to be up early in this game, 6-0. And I think that if the Broncos, they haven't seen the ball in the Titans half yet. So if they can just uh, string some sets together and stop chucking the ball away, maybe they can uh, get back the ball rather quickly here. Yeah, the Broncos, they just, they weren't looking too bad. It's just that uh, that one high shot from Raikamanu just kind of just let the Titans get that momentum real early on there. And McKay, we've seen how good he is at scoring tries this season. He kind of just can't be stopped. He's just yeah, been phenom. finding his way over the line. Just freaky, freaky stuff here. Have you guys versed the Titans yet? Or not yet? No, not yet. Luckily, I haven't uh, I haven't had to go up against McKay. Actually, I'm pretty sure we wouldn't be on the field at the same time. But, um, yeah, convenient. we haven't seen him. Convenient for me. It's... 
Yeah, because he's one man you want to stop. I think he scored five games in a row from memory. Maybe six. And I think, yeah, he's, the first game he didn't score was against us, I believe. But, oh, oh, what is that? What was that? An accidental, intentional offside there from the Titans. And the Broncos are now in great field position. They do some funny things to Titans. When they get it right, it looks good. Uh, but when it's bad, it's bad. And that's what we've seen just there. As Luke Short now pushes forward. Baker's out and pops up on that left hand side. He's been pretty good so far to start this season. He's going to have to continue his form here if Broncos are going to crash over. Now Luke Shaw, ball plays out to Corey Boyd. He's brought down in a great tackle there from Nate O'Donnell, I believe. Uh, and potentially Dylan Murray with some help. And now John Baker goes to McDonald. Is he going to push over? Anthony McDonald turned on his back. Oh, he had so much space there. He could have just tried to weave yeah. a little bit. <laughs> he just sure managed to crash over. Yeah, he just managed to pick out Mark Lee, the probably the best defender in this uh, Titans side and that just wasn't the play he needed to just, just find the gap there yeah between Mark Lee and Lachlan Martin there's not a whole lot of space there as now Luke Short gets his he going to be able to push forward nah, turn on his back as well crucial kick coming up here John Baker's with a golden boot hopefully for Broncos fans and they don't go to him they go to Isaac Edwards and he just falls over the line he was barely even running onto it Isaac Edwards and yeah, the Titans just watched him stroll through yeah, that was too easy for Edwards. He just he just stopped in the middle of his of his run there, just maybe a little bit of taunting, saying, "Hey, hey, you got a chance?" But no, nah, it just flops over the line. It's too easy for him. Just that Titans defense, they were nowhere near. Yeah, Lachlan Martin after he made that great try save run, Anthony McDonald just couldn't quite get there to Isaac Edwards, and the veteran Bronco it feels like he's been there forever. Uh, he gets his side on the board early. Yeah, and it's uh, it's good to see that um, the veteran Bronco just stepping up for his team. You know, they've lost a lot of their season one players, and the likes of uh, Alice and just, Joey, Alice and Joey, just like people that have been staples of the club, now left for the season, and uh, it's good to see the big man stepping up for his team. Yeah, between Edwards and players, they do have some. Uh high caliber of Broncos veterans in that team. And they're going to be looking to them in this game as Michael McLucky gets us back underway with a six or scoreboard after 10 minutes. Uh, both sides have come to play early. As now Caleb Jeff takes up. I think that's his first run. 10 minutes in. He pushes forward, gets some good meters before he's brought down. And now Eddie Oliver goes out to Simon Hunt. He's unable to go anywhere. Lachlan Martin wrestles him to the ground. A good tackle helped out by Hayden Davis. Now Edwards gets it again and he goes back inside to Riker Martin. I thought that we might see a little sidestep there from Riker, but not to be. Now Edwards gets it again. Out to Corey Boyd. He's straight past one before Liam Ryan gets him, I think. That might have been Driscoll who went past. I'm not 100% sure, but very, very good. And now John Baker's goes to Caleb Jeff. Is that the beach sprinter, Mars? It might be the beach sprinter back alive after, be, uh, after the mine season they had back in the day. He's back. Yeah, he just needed needed some sand under his boots there because they caught him way too fast. And they've shanked that kick straight into Borson's head. So he looked really promising there for the Broncos, but not to be in the end. Now Corey goes to go straight through. Brought down eventually there with the help of Rikamanu. I got to slot in for fullback, but a good first touch. Now Borson gets it, takes the, the hit up, the halfback leading from the front. Off to Christian McKinney out of Hayden Davis. And he's brought down a two-man tackle. So very resolute defense so far from the Broncos. But uh, nonetheless, the Titans are making good meters. We get the inside ball play, and it works brilliantly. Liam Ryan straight through a big hole and straight past Raikamanu. He's going to be out of position for this final tackle. Where are they going to go? Straight to McLucky. What does he have for us? Very good kick. I sense someone running onto this. Oh. As Justin plays. Wow. Tremendous from the veteran. That was a huge play by plays. It's... Uh... Oh, the beach sprinter, he's sprinting through the line. Oh, the, the Broncos are just fighting back after that amazing play. Uh, just that amazing take by plays. I'm mixing myself up by saying play too much. But, um, Broncos, they're just playing with them. Yeah, they're playing well, the Broncos. Caleb Jeff just left the imprint in Christian McKay's chest. You know, past now, Dylan Sharp goes straight through. Oh, and throws the offload back inside. Is that Ben Cummins on the right-hand side there for the Titans? Muzz? Uh, I believe it is. Over there, yeah, ben he needs a uh, find instruction manual for his arms because it's not working at the moment. Absolute turnstile for the Titans. He'll have to fix it up as his half goes on. Now John Baker gets a kick, shanks a little bit, and Liam Ryan beats one before he's brought down from behind by Simon Hunt, I believe. 
Yeah, absolutely. And Driscoll just gone straight through the line. He's known for his defense, and at least that's what he says. And uh, he manages to get through the line just a little bit there. Pretty good from the old boy in Driscoll. And Murray, jeez, it's a back-to-back -back line breaks here. Yeah, really good from first Driscoll, then Murray. And now the Titans are on the attack. McLucky goes inside the mark. He's able to push through. He's going to be tackled on the 10 meter line. So two tackles here. Borsons goes out to. Sorry. McLucky goes out to Borsons. The headgear looked like the board head for a moment. Uh, and now they're going to have to put a kick in to try and force a result. He goes to Lockheed Martin. He decides he wants to push forward instead. And he's turned on his back. No more than 30 centimeters out from the line. Yeah, it's a bit disappointing uh, for the end of the set there. You'd think. You know, Liam Rogers just always hyping up McKay, uh, not McKay, sorry, McLucky, saying how he's how he's fixing him and working on him. You'd think that they'd, you know, give the ball to him, let him do something on fifth tackle, but Lock and Martin, he just tucks it under the arm and runs it up. Doesn't really get anything going for his team there. Yeah, but there's definitely worse places to leave the ball. Uh, Ten centimetres out from the goal line and make him work it out. Uh, Probably the third best result after a try and a dropout is now Eddie Oliver goes out to Sonny Sharp and he's been marked well so far this game. A lot of early ball and no line breaks, which is what you really need from your second rowers. Uh, they could go for the 40-20 here, of course. Wiggins have dropped back. It's Bakers and he goes a little inside out there to Corey Goats. He's got some open space. Ooh, and a great tackle there to bring him down by Sonny Sharp. Yeah, Broncos. So they just left him a lot of room to run there. It was looking a bit scary. I wasn't uh, wasn't sure if he'd maybe find a step there in the end, but Sharp does well just to wrap him up there. Yeah, now Lachlan Martin gets him going forward. It feels like the whole game has been played in this half. The Broncos had one set and they scored, but apart from that, uh, it's been all in their half of the game. As Liam Ryan goes past one and armed backwards afterwards, had to slow down to get that stutter start working. He just lost him all his momentum. As now Lachlan Martin gets, he's unable to get that fend working. McDonald wrestles him to the ground, and once again, it's going to be a chance for attacking kick. Um, McLucky's directly behind the ball, so they go to Borsons instead. He puts in a real nice grub, and Driscoll, Driscoll picks it up. Uh, and once again, the Broncos are going to be coming off their own line. Yeah, that was looking very good. A very dangerous play there by the Titans. And uh, Broncos did very well to just not let it turn into points. Not many teams would have been able to stop that, and it was just looking very good for them. And Sharp punching back now. That's very good from the Broncos, just coming back out of their own half. Yeah, that's a line break I want. And then McDonald doubles up. McDonald with a great run. The Mack truck barreling down the middle of the field. He's off the field in 30 seconds. He wanted to leave his impact. As now Baker goes out to Sunny Sharp again. Ben Cummins, has, uh, fortunately, has remembered how to tackle there and stops him. But the Broncos are in good field position. They're going to work the short side. Goes out to Dylan Sharp. Borsons covers. Takes him eight metres out from the line. A really good chance here for the Broncos. Where do they go? It's to Eddie Oliver, and he puts it up. This is pinpoint accurate. Isaac Edwards underneath it. Oh. Isaac Edwards has a double. He's got a double. How good is that from Isaac Edwards? Just finding himself underneath that ball. That's some great uh, determination from him. Look at that. Just beating Where's everyone. Liam Ryan? There he is. Liam yeah, Ryan. No he just there to wasn't that there. Ball. O'Donnell came in from the far side. Liam Ryan uh, just vibing out at the back. Uh, maybe talking to a fan in the crowd because he did not get activated there. Yeah, he's maybe just uh, turned off for a second, just kind of forgot what he was doing. Thought he might have been in the halves again, like back in the old days. And, uh, he, the, the Broncos, they just jump on that opportunity. That's very good from him. Yeah, really good. And Broncos taking an early lead here. And if we could just hold this score for the game, I wouldn't be opposed to it. A little one-day Broncos bet could come up trumps here. Uh, is there going to be a power outage, Buzz, right now? Cancel the game? Uh, you know, we can uh, we can say uh, that might happen. You know, a bit of a lightning storm on its way. Need to call yeah. off the game, maybe. I like it. Anyway, Sam Lillard doesn't want that. He's on the field now. He's had to watch Caleb Jeff dominate, really. He was the only prop that got going for a long time. And now Liam Evans straight through a hole. Really good from the young man. Went straight past uh, almost a veteran now, Liam Rogers, beating that prop role for, prop role for a... Oh, quite a while now, and uh, Liam Evans made him look a bit funny there. Sam Lillard doubles up, so that's prop to prop to prop, the kind of set that everyone loves to see. Uh, where do they go from here? It's off to Luke Short. So two props in the lock, taking all four hit-ups this set. Can we complete it with a forward trifecta? Uh, unfortunately, uh, they ball play out to Sonny Sharp. Liam Evans had it for a moment. But anyway, they're going to be in position to put up a bomb kick. If they feel like it, they might just go the punt to be 
safe for them. Sorry, they do go the bomb. There's going to need to be something miraculous. There isn't. Ben Cummins takes it, and he's driven backwards there. Great set after points. Yeah, Cummins did well to get himself under the ball there, but he's just not able to get any meters at all. This Oh, Liam Rogers with the bump Bang. off. First thing I've seen him do all season. That's very good from Liam Rogers. And uh, <laughs> Cummins, he was just able to get under that ball. It's good stuff from the rookie. Yeah, Liam Rogers straight through Luke Shaw. As now Kyriakos Ilias gets on that left-hand side. Goes out there with Donald. About time we seem to have the ball. Very, 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 very dangerous forerunner out there. We saw him staff the Blues last Wednesday. Last Thursday, sorry. Now Mark Lee gets a palm off. Mark Lee's away. Superman died from Raikamanu. Mark Lee, out of absolutely nowhere, has got his side level. Oh, that was just amazing from Mark Lee. Old Eddie Oliver could not keep up at all. Got the fend, then those little legs just started pumping and he was gone. Titans, they're, they've, they're about to level the score now. And look at that, Raikamanu just left in the dust. And Eddie Oliver, he tried his best, but... Is never catching up to Mark Lee. He did the early dive as well, just for the just for the hell of it. And Titans, they're back in not in front, but they're back level in just a moment here. Is there a um hint of a double movement there? Oh, you'd hate to hear it. And oh, McCluffy nearly misses that actually. But for Mark Lee's sake, for the officials, uh, uh, referee Will K in the bunker you'd hope that uh, it wasn't a double movement otherwise you might have some hell to pay here <laughs> you'll be yes, hearing you from might. the Broncos um, lawyers and I think he does hear from some of the Broncos players quite a lot of regarding substitution so he might as well just add it to the list as now yeah. Bakers gets us underway straight down to Kyriakos Ilias and it was his ball playing that got that started really uh, he went out to Nate O'Donnell and got some movement early on. And now McLucky doubles up. We don't often see him taking it up, but quite good from the young man. That's now Lachlan Martin Ooh. takes Oh, Lachlan Martin. Flattened. I think that was Liam Evans. Destructive. What a hit. <laughs> Liam Rogers came up with it after and had a bit to say and knocked old mate over. But, um, there's a bit of fire in the Titans there after that hit. Yeah, I like it. I always like the Queensland derby, especially when there's a bit of feeling in it. We saw Liam Ryan, Liam Rogers go straight past Luke Short, and now Liam Evans has returned served on Lachlan Martin. The locks are just getting punished at the moment. Simon Hunt takes her on there. They go out to Sonny Sharp. Is he going to push over? This is the left-hand row bread and butter, but unfortunately he can't get there. Fourth tackle now. Eddie Oliver goes short ball. Decoy play. John Baker, is he going to crash over? No. Liam Rogers wrestles him to the ground there. Been doing a lot of Russian twists to get that core work. And it's going to end up with the Broncos playing at five metres out. Luke Short goes it goes very, very high. Is anyone underneath it? Ben Cummins, seven tackle set. Oh, Cummins, he hasn't been great defensively, but under the high ball, he's been really good and he's passed every test. And Liam Rogers with another bump off, he's really uh, trying to get himself into this match here. Yeah, I like to see it. Um, we played together a lot and I do like to see him succeed, just not when he versus us. Uh, primarily is now Tabasco takes a hit up. He's very distinctive with the pink hair as well, Liam Rogers. So it's very easy to tell uh, when he has a poor game versus when he has a good one. So they go inside the locker Martin and Luke Short, the poor man, uh, they're going straight past him at the moment. Yeah, absolutely. And Lachlan Martin, he just has something to prove after that big hit that got put on him just a few moments ago. And he's uh, made up for it, I reckon, with that line break. Yeah, terrific line breaks. He put him in good field positions. Liam Ryan now, he's going to go for the corner. Oh! Going for the corner. That is dirty, Liam Ryan. Wanted to make a mockery of Rakamanu, so he angled back inside just to sidestep him. Very, very, very nasty from Liam Ryan just there. That was absolutely diabolical. Look at that. Oh. Just uh, absolutely embarrassing the entire Broncos defensive line and Rakamanu. You'd think that Liam Ryan just hates the Broncos or something like that because that was absolutely disrespectful. Yeah, that was disrespectful. He could have angled for the corner so easily. Uh, instead, uh, he wanted the highlight moment, and that's what he got. Liam Bryan puts the Titans out by six points, and uh, my one-day bet is looking a bit shakier now. Yeah, it, it might be looking a bit shakier for you, but you know the uh, the Broncos—they're not one to sit down and die. 
I reckon that uh, they've still got more in the tank here. Yeah, definitely. There's still a long time left in this game, and uh, everything fun happens after 60 minutes anyway when the big boys come back on. So if the Broncos can just hold through here to half time, uh, the oh. Fords. Oh! Isaac Edwards swoops on a ball. Forget about holding on. They're ready to score right now. Edwards, he nearly saw a hat trick there for a second. Yeah, first half hat trick. That'll be very, very good from him. He still has a chance here. They go oh. out, it's him. And there it is. The first half hat trick from Isaac Edwards, keeping the Broncos in touch here single handedly. Wow, what a game. This has got to be a career game for Edwards. A hat trick in the first half for a halfback. When have you ever heard of something like that, Sticko? Yeah, just absolutely unbelievable from Isaac Edwards. The Broncos, they've been having a lean run of form, and I reckon uh, I reckon he could keep it going here, keep the good times rolling for the Broncos, and maybe uh, they can get a bit of roll on as we head towards this mid-season period. Yeah, definitely. And, you know, we, by the way he's playing at the moment, I wouldn't be surprised if he ends the game with about 10 tries because he's just on a mission <laughs> here. Yeah, if he just keeps going this way, he'll have at least six tries in the second half. Uh, by the time the game's over with three tries in both halves. Um, Titans are going to have to do well to compete here with Isaac Edwards because it's currently 18-12 Gold Coast Titans versus Isaac Edwards. Lucky John Baker has chipped in with a few conversions as we have a level ball game here with 10 minutes to go. Six tries in the first half so far. We get better than a point a minute in this game so far. A bit of a shootout developing on our hands. Yeah, one hell of a shootout as well. I, I love seeing it when just you get one player step, stepping up and oh, here's another person stepping up. Raika Manu, that's very good job from him. And the offload yeah, as well. Yeah, he's been a bit quiet this game. A bit quiet. Hasn't really had the chance off the kicks yet. Um, but he needs to get involved in regular play like he has just then. Now Sunny Sharp takes a big hit up. I'd like to see him find some more space again because that really kicks start him. And now Luke Shaw returns serve. Mark Lee. So it's lock on lock violence and just a lot of bystanders copping. Uh, side punches here like Mark Lee did just there as Luke Short tries to show to Lachlan Martin who the best lock is in this game. A great set for the Broncos after points. They end up 30 metres out with the bomb. It's a tiny bit shallow from John Bakers. Uh, nonetheless, Samuel Lillard takes it, but he's wrapped up in a good tackle there by Liam Ryan. Yeah, I'm sure the Titans fans were thanking the Lord above when Edwards decided not to compete <laughs> for that ball because... Man, I, he, whenever he gets the ball, he's just getting over the line. That's just how it is this game. It's absolutely insane. But Broncos, it's a pretty good, decent set from them. Not a bad way to end it. And Titans, they're just going to work their way out of their half now. Yeah, really good way for him to end the set after points. Just put the pressure on. Liam Rogers unable to get any forward momentum there. Um, and with only seven minutes, oh, the 40-20 from Mike Borsons. This could be brilliant. We talked about them being under pressure, but no. Oh, it's like, oh, it did have the angle. Raikamanu unable to turn around. Yeah, Raikamanu, you hate to see that. He he tried to do a bit of a sneaky play, but he didn't realise how close the sideline was there and just puts a, put his feet over the sideline, not really not really looking at it, nearly running into the cameraman, actually. And Titans, they've got a really yeah, good opportunity just, uh, here. Yeah, just a lapse of concentration with five minutes to go to halftime. Not when you want it. Uh, he gives the Titans, yeah, like you said, a great opportunity to go ahead on the scoreboard. And they might do it straight away. Oh, no, Liam Ryan brought down a good tackle there by the Broncos. Very dangerous close to the line. Now they go out to McLucky, and he goes to Lachlan Martin. Can he push over? He can't. Brought down about a metre away from where the contact was. Now it's Liam Rogers' turn. I think he's going to be found his back. He will. So a few crash plays so far, and the Broncos are handling it. Liam Rogers, you need to take that ball back into the field of play before you play the ball. So two plays left here from the Titans. They go to Basco's little settler. He pushes forward. And it's all going to come down to the kick here. They go to McLucky. Can he get the grubber? Oh. And he can. Liam Ryan storms onto it. Way too easy. The headgear spine members just stepping up there for the Titans. And just like that, the Titans are back in front. Yeah, that was just too easy. It was a pinpoint kick. And Liam Ryan, he always knows his assignment. He's always there to collect those amazing kicks. And just look at that. It's beautiful. No defenders even anywhere near him either. He just puts it down with such ease as well. And Titans, they've just found themselves back in front just because of uh, 
Bit of a mistake from the Broncos, just letting him back in before half time. Yeah, good kick from Boston, but I needed from Rakamanu. And unfortunately, yeah, a good team like this, they're going to make you pay. Yeah, absolutely. You just can't turn off and make those sort of rookie mistakes against a team like this, can you? Definitely not. They're really good close to the line. Uh, when they get going, they're hard to pick back in. I just worry that that could be the score of the Broncos if Campbell's back for the Broncos. 24-18 now with five minutes to go in the half. Uh, if they can't jag one back, they just they had all the momentum going into the halftime break, but now it's uh, firmly with the Titans. Yeah, and there's only so much that Edwards can do. You can't you can't ask <laughs> him to do much more, and I'm sure the Broncos need to figure out how to get some points on the board without having to get the poor half back to do everything. Oh, yeah, I think. Oh, Kyriakis really is absolutely flattened by Sam Lillard off the kickoff. Ah, uh, that's one way to seize back some momentum. Really good from Sam Lillard there, and yeah, Ilias will be feeling quite sore tomorrow after that big hit. I was gonna say the Broncos need some field position. Ah, uh, they've been, they've scored, I think, three out of four times they've been down there, but they just are unable uh, to get down the field. And McLucky, he always had a good run. He ran about eight meters forward before he went five backwards. So if the Broncos can force a kick here and it not be a 40-20, because I think this one will be terrific kick from Mike Borson. Is my only going to turn around? Oh. Wrong way, Riker. Oh no, my, Riker Manu's gone over both sidelines in the matter of two minutes here, <laughs> and that's uh, that's definitely going to hurt the captain. Amac is not going to be happy with his fullback there. It's just yeah, not ideal. Yeah, unfortunately, yeah, just turning the wrong way twice in a row. Really not what you want to see from him, but it means the Titans, they have a chance to go 12 up at half time. And that's definitely not what I thought I'd be saying three minutes ago. Is Lee goes out to Borson. Is he going to push over? We've seen Isaac Edwards do it twice. He can't do it. He's going to play it a meter out now before Lee goes to Cummins. He's driven back. Great tackle there from the Broncos. And they go ball out to McLucky's. Man, a lot of crash plays here from the Titans. I keep thinking they're going to get there, but man, Millimeters out. Mark Lee, go yourself. No, Dylan Murray's pushback is there. Uh, maybe they're trying to kill time towards half time here, Riley. I'm not 100% sure what's going on with this set. As now they get the grubber away. I should have known they had something cooking. Liam Ryan just swoops on that ball. 30 points in one half. That is a big total for this Titans team. That is just too easy, isn't it? It just seems like that's the play. They wear out all the forwards with uh, every tackle that they got and then just say, all right. Give it to the half and then uh, put in the grubber for Liam Ryan and bam, that's a try. <laughs> I think that's just the yeah. formula. Yeah, that's SRL 101 really, isn't it? A little grubber close to the line for the fullback to swoop on. I'm not sure where Raikamanu was. He's had uh, 10 minutes to forget really, unfortunately for him. Uh, but I trust after half time he'll be able to step it up. Yeah, and if this game keeps on going how it, how it is, we might see a very high scoring game. Because this has been an absolute shootout here. Yeah, it has been a shootout. And sadly, the Titans have the machine gun. And uh, the Broncos are working with the old crossbow. you got to reload it every single time you shoot. Whereas the, the Titans are just rapid fire at the moment. Uh, they're going to have, what, two plays before half time. Maybe we see a big cut hit from Lillard to make something happen. Maybe we don't. I'm not sure. Yeah, well, we'll see. It's not much time on the board here. So we'll see if uh, Broncos can make anything miraculous happen. Yeah, it's about the intent here from the Broncos on this first tackle. What do we get? Nothing. Hayden Davis takes the hit up. Caleb Jeff isn't able to get to him. Titans are going to go into half time. 12 points up. Welcome back to Seabus Super Stadium where we have an absolute rip snorter on our hands. Gold Coast Titans scoring three times in the last 10 minutes of the first half to go into the halftime up 12 points, 30 to 18. And Brisbane were looking really good, but they're going to have some soul searching to do now, Riley. Yeah, absolutely. They were just like keeping themselves in the game there for a long period of time, but a few silly errors have just brought them way down right behind the Gold Coast Titans. And... The Titans, they just need to keep on applying pressure, and I think this game is theirs, but Broncos, they're not a team to lay down and die. I reckon that we'll see something special from them in this half. 
Yeah, it's Driscoll takes a line break there. He doesn't have a whole lot of runs, but he does seem to find a line break. Uh, not what we need from the Broncos. Now Christian McKay goes up the middle. And you're right, they're not going to lay down and die, but they do need to step it up. Back-to-back uh, -back errors from Rock and Mato led to two tries. And it, you just can't afford it against these top eight teams. Uh, errors are crucial, and the Broncos made too many. Oh, and the errors, they go the other way this time, and McKay just getting his big fat head in the way there. And uh, Broncos have found themselves with the ball again. Yeah, and they're going to have to do well here. Uh, first of all, to crack the Titans' defence, which has been really good in this half. Uh, but more importantly, just to stay in this game, because even though they have the ball, like the Titans are making the errors, 12 points is a long way to come back. And at the moment, it's been all Isaac Edwards. He scored the first half hat-trick, and he just needs some help. There we go from Raikamano. That'll help him and help the Broncos. But I just think that they need to lift collectively, and maybe then they'll... Uh, find themselves back in this game as Justin Play ends up taking the fifth tackle. Luke Short gets it, puts the bomb up. He's going to land about six metres out. Very good, but Liam Ryan takes it, beats one. Liam Ryan, I thought he was away there. Right? Oh, well, who's there to make that tackle? It's Isaac Edwards just doing everything for the team at the moment. And, oh, Liam Rogers. Good morning, he says to the Broncos' defence. The, oh, Lachlan Martin just running straight through the line with the offload to Mark Lee as well. Mark Lee, he could be away here. He's using those little legs, going very far. It's going to be going left. McLucky to Daly. Daly just driving forward. Titans, they've got a very good chance here. McLucky sends it out to Rogers. Rogers just got in the way there. There was a play looming over there past him, but the ball dies with him. Fifth tackle now. McLucky gets the grubber and Lachlan Martin dives on this one. This time it's not Liam Ryan. It's the big man, the lock. Lachlan Martin. That's a, some beautiful work from the Titans there. And this game is just starting to run away from the Broncos. Man, you'd expect just a little bit more resilience from this team. Lachlan, there's almost uh, whispers of him maybe just being offside there. Maybe oh, just. Not just a whisper. Not just a whisper. There's loud yelling. Michael McLucky with the grubber kick. Uh -huh. That's his fourth try assist for this game, I believe. He's definitely and he's really stepped good. up here, yeah. Borson's had a bit of an origin hangover, and McLucky's turned up and decided to play. Lachlan Martin streamed onto that one. Too good from the Titans. Yeah, absolutely. That's just amazing work from them getting the ball and, and there was just no stopping them. The momentum just carried them all the way to the try line and look there's question marks on uh, Lachlan Martin being on side there but um, referee Will K, he's, he's, no, he's a fan of the drama. He likes a bit of controversy <laughs> in his games and especially against the well, Broncos. <laughs> especially against the Broncos. But um, man Broncos they just need to do a bit of soul searching here and get back in the game. Yeah, the script writing goes crazy for Will K. Let's that try in just so the Broncos can have an even bigger comeback. Uh, but I don't think the Titans are on board with that one. It's now Jerome Daly straight through a big hole there. Does that really easily. And he's going to play it about 41 metres out from the line. Like lucky now goes to McKay. A-Mac wraps him up very well there. McKay on McDonald. Battle of the Mac truck. I think it's a stalemate. Now Borson gets it inside to Liam Wright. He's straight past one. He's having a day out today. Breaks Rakamanu's tackle. Oh, Liam Ryan for the line. Wow, we four tries for Liam Ryan. Could he break the record today? Oh, uh, I think it's a possibility. The Titans are now just putting the Broncos to the sword. It was close when the when the half started, and seven minutes in, it's the game is already all but finished. Just how about that? Just burning everybody on the team. Even Edwards has been doing so much for them, but. He can't catch up and stop the flying fullback for the Titans. And man, what a start to the second half for the Titans. Yeah, this could get ugly here for Broncos fans and euphoric for these Titans fans because, yeah, Broncos is getting ran over at the moment. A big bust from Jerome Daly got it started before. Yeah, McLucky and I went off to Liam Ryan. And yeah, I'm not sure what Rikamano was doing there. He made the tackle, but then just the big break tackle eventually got him through 
What's that? 33 minutes left in this game. Uh, this could be ugly. It definitely could be. The Broncos just need to... Honestly, they need to get uh, some new forwards on maybe anything. Just get this defense and make it start working. Because at the moment, they're just slipping tackles for fun. That pass? Oh. oh. It's Tremendous just becoming pass. too Who easy for them. I'm yeah, man, Lucky just sure. cut out six players, I'm pretty sure, to get to Christian McCann. He found a hole straight away. Now Lachlan Martin takes a hit up. Yeah, crazy stuff in the times. Now Mark Lee gets out of half before he goes to Rogers. Is he going to break a tackle? No. The momentum stops slightly, but they're still over halfway in three tackles, which is exactly what we want to see. Borsons goes to McLucky. He doesn't dummy. Just goes straight at Isaac Edwards before he's brought down. One tackle left here before oh. the kick. Oh, and they throw the offload. Eddie Oliver pinches that one. His second intercept for the game. Yeah, the Broncos, that's what they needed. Just something to go their way here. They've got absolutely no possession so far this half, and this could be very good for them. Let them try and get some points on the board here. Yeah, it could be great for them. As they go to the oh. inside play, and they get the six again. Tremendous from Luke Short. Uh, really working the system there to get the six again. McEnroe cleans up. Now... Anthony McDonald goes straight into Christian McKay. Uh, those two have been going at each other all game and they continue continue near. He's going to play at 12 metres out. Out to John Baker. Haven't seen his name for a while. Simon Hunt now takes it up. I feel like it's been the Isaac Edwards show and John Baker needs to step up and show his class here. They go now to Mario McEnroe. He brings it forward. He was at the Panthers last season, I believe, and uh, he's ended up at the Broncos and I think he'll want some more minutes because he's quite the player. He's now Lillard back on the field in that left second row position. Uh, playing 60 minutes tonight, I believe. Takes it up, and he goes to John Baker's on the fourth tackle, so he's not going to be there for the kick. I think it will fall into the hands of Luke Tiny Short. What can he do with it? Uh, he instead goes to Isaac Edwards. It's going to be an aerial contest out there. Where does it go? Felix Stoder, fresh on the field and the sidestep. But I think he might go out here. No, he keeps in just rightly. Yeah, very good stuff from him. There's uh, there's question marks on always. There's always question marks on the second rowers going in to uh, take over that center position. And Felix Stoner, he's just passed that one test there very well. And Titans, oh that's oh, what was that? Someone's out there playing s some American Great football. On. Yeah, not good. And this is what happened to the Broncos in the first half. Oh, great break tackle there from Dylan Sharp. This is what happened in the first half. The Broncos made heaps of errors, and then the Titans scored. Wow. And now a penalty. And it just looks like the Titans have started to do the same thing, just continually inviting the Broncos into their own half. They're going to make them pay eventually. Could it be this set? Anthony McDonald takes the first hit up, and Eddie Oliver had a half. I think he's played it exactly where he's picked it up. It was a great run before he got modest in that tackle. Now it's Isaac Edwards, oh. and he goes forward to Simon Hunt. Shun unable to get over the line. Yeah, he gets that one wrong, Edwards. But, oh, Daly making them punish, punishing them, them straight away for it. And Edwards, I think that's the first thing that he's done this game that hasn't been absolutely amazing. Yeah, man, that's just a law of averages. He taps the ball as much as Isaac Edwards has to say. Eventually, it's going to be a mistake. Um, but, oh. What are we watching what here? What is going on? Three forward passes on? in two minutes. This is insane. Someone tell them that they're supposed to pass backwards. Yeah, I think the memos. I think both teams know this game is done, and they're just sort of throwing caution to the wind to see what can happen. Uh, John Baker takes hit up, but I think uh, if the Broncos just lock it, lock it in, and lock it up, they might be able to reduce the deficit here to something a little bit less embarrassing. And Raikamanu goes for the line and passes back inside to Eddie Oliver. Eddie Oliver's had his hands on everything for the Broncos tonight, and that's a well-deserved try. Yeah, that was very good stuff from Raikamanu. Just saw that he had uh, Liam Ryan still to beat at the back there, and he decided not to be selfish and pass it inside. It was, inside. It was a bit of a Hail Mary, but Eddie Oliver, he just finds himself there. Great support play, and he scores. Great stuff from the Broncos. Maybe just trying to claw their way back in here. It would be a big task to come back, but at the very least, they're making this deficit not look as ugly. Yeah, you got to start eventually, don't you? And that's what they've done here. The Broncos just, what's that, 18 points now? Yeah, 18 points, so three tries. If the Titans can do it in 10 minutes to bring home the first half, then 
the Broncos can definitely do it here, but I don't think the Titans have finished scoring either, and that could be an issue for the Broncos. Yeah, definitely could. The Titans, they're just kind of on a mission here. A few mistakes have stopped them and made them stop scoring for the last little while, but you'd think if they can clean up their errors, they might just come straight back and be uh, rushing out the gates once again. Yeah, and it's going to be the last oh. of... Oh, Liam Rogers sits down Luke Short. I was just about to say, it's going to be the likes of Anthony McDonald and Luke Short, but Liam Rogers just gone straight through him there and forced the ball loose. And now the Titans are on the attack. Felix Ooh. Stoder gets hit. It's all happening here in the Thunderdome. Big hit central. Mark Lee is going to take a chance to push out a half. Brought down a meter up the line. Liam Rogers. Oh, he gets hit. That's three in three minutes. What's going on here? The Titans still have a chance, though, to make something out of this set. They go right. Ben Cummins underneath it. And the back oh. back to Liam Ryan. <laughs> Five tries for Liam Ryan. What a game that man is having. Oh, man. You reckon he's done yet, or you think that he wants a few more? Oh, I don't think he's done yet. I think the Titans won 50, and I can see them getting there today. Yeah, Liam Ryan, how good is that from him? He wants to break that try scoring record in a single game, and you know, I wouldn't bet he against him. He could do him. it here tonight. I would not bet against him because these Titans are on an absolute mission here tonight. Yeah, and McLucky, you think you'll kick this, kick this? That'll be 48 points. Although he swung it really far to the left. Ooh, of course, the gentle beauty. breeze swings it back in. What's the points record for one team? Is it 54? 54. Oh, I'm not too sure. I'll, I'll go the and dig to through. Be today. I tried to dig through some records for you here, Snicko, so I'll come back to you on that. Yeah, the Titans will have that one eye on that one eye on the Broncos, of course. And like we mentioned... Two minutes ago, the Broncos had all the momentum and they just needed a couple of tries, but we knew the Titans weren't done scoring and they went over really easily there. Liam Ryan just, he finds a try line like nothing else. And now it's Christian McKay to take the tackle. I think they should just keep giving the ball to Liam Ryan. Now Jerome Daly gets it. He's jumped on the back there by Simon Hunt in the end. Titans with a pretty good set out of points here. Now Liam Rogers gets a line break. He's having a game tonight. Force a changeover for that try. And now a big run. They go out to McLucky. He goes long ball, Jerome Daly. What's he doing over there? Playing both sides of the ball, Jerome Daly. He's brought down eventually. They're going to have two plays here. Where do they go? To Liam Rogers. He's driven backwards. The first time he's lost contact all night. And it's going to be the Titans having to punt here. I thought for sure they get an attack and kick the way they started that set. But unable to go there. They go to McLucky and he goes straight to Isaac Edwards. Have you checked those stats, Riley? Yeah, I tried digging through my old uh, stats, you know, got got the cobwebs off them, but uh, I couldn't find anything on a single uh, a single team's most points in a game. So we might need to go to um, old Lachlan Martin after the game and ask him about it, the old statistician of the SRL. But, oh, Hunt, just a great run there with the offload. That's good stuff from the Broncos. Oh, and Short just running straight through the line. He's got the offload as well. These Broncos are just running through the line for fun at the moment. They definitely want to get some points on here. Oh, that is a huge mistake by Short, though. Such a good opportunity, but the Broncos, they just waste it once again. And that is a coach killer there. Now Titans are going to have the ball going up is Cummins. Cummins now just come on at the in the front row for the Titans. The old rookie. It's going to be Mark Lee going inside for Lachlan Martin. Another ball over to Daly. Nearly getting through the line there. It's good stuff from the Titans. They're looking very threatening. Going short side. O'Donnell going nowhere. Some great defense from the Broncos there. Going inside. Oh, that's a great pass, but the defense scrambles nicely. Hunt able to bring Davis down very easily there. His fifth tackle. Over to McLucky. That's a much better kick from him. No one charging that one down. And Sharp, though, steps one. He's taken down in the end. That's some good stuff from the Broncos. They'll just want to use this momentum and get all the way down. But Ooh. Luke Short. Yeah, not great from Luke Short. And I've just ran to my little... 
resident stats room and had a look. It's 54 points is the record scored by the Warriors. So the Titans definitely threatening that. Uh, they just need the one try, of course. If they want to beat that record, they'll have to go for a penalty goal or a field goal or even another try to get there. Um, I think that's possible today. 17 minutes left in this game and Titans are on fire right now. Yeah, they absolutely are. This is just insane what we're seeing. And they just need to keep this momentum and we might see some record-breaking stuff from them. He has Borsons, goes out to Liam Ryan, and he's through. Oh, <laughs> oh I thought he was going to have one more, Liam Ryan. And now he's out of play for the fifth tackle. So who's it going to be that's going to break this game open? It's Borsons. It's Borsons. It's Hayden Davis, and he's over the line. Uh, they're going to equal the points record to the Titans. Man, the Titans, they are not finished. And this has become an absolutely crazy high-scoring game here. That was just amazing work from Mark Lee, just... The, the Titans have been kicking the ball very nicely. Their grubbers have been exceptional, just scoring on, on every single one of them, I swear. Yeah, been really, really good, the Titans kicking game. borson has got in, the, in on the action that time. Uh, joining McLucky on the little grubber train, but it, whoever's doing it, the Broncos are just not defending it. I'm not sure what they practiced in the training this week. I can guarantee you it wasn't keep confusal. Because uh, the halves of the Titans have just taken them apart. Yeah, absolutely. Man, the Broncos, they just... They just can't get anything going for themselves here. Whenever they get an opportunity, they just seem to put it straight down. And Luke Short, he's been... Uh, he's put a few down tonight, and it's just a bit disappointing from him. He's uh, He wouldn't be happy with his own performance here tonight. Nah, he's his own harshest critic, Luke Short. And you're right, he'll, he'll find a way to bounce back as now. Ben Cummins, like you mentioned, back on the field in that prop roll, takes a hit up. Uh, Christian McKay has just entered the field again in this lock roll, and here he is, ball playing out to Justice Jerome Daly, and he gets offloaded away to Mark McLucky. That's one way to work the defence side to side, just make him kick going. Now Mark Lee gets out of half, pinches eight or nine metres before he's brought down, and good tackle there. So McLucky's going to fill in for him, goes to Boston, he's out to Liam Ryan, he's straight past one. How many tackles can he break this game? Because he's having a... Absolute blinder. He's going to play at 39 metres out from the line. Ben Cummins gets in, goes straight through a hole. Ben Cummins for the line. Raikamanu gets him eventually. They're going to have a chance for attacking kick here. Will they put up the bomb? Oh. They do put the bomb up, but it's gone straight into the player in front of him and a let off there for the Broncos. Yeah, look, I was having uh, I was having some premonitions of Liam Ryan scoring another one there, but Titans, they just get in their own way and... They waste that opportunity. I'm sure they're getting just a little bit too excited to try and break this uh, point scoring record. And uh, they're getting in their own ways at the moment. Yeah, I think they still have a pretty good chance to do it as Edwards, the one man mission, takes another hit up in this game. Broncos trying to add some respectability back to this game. Marley IK back on the field in the lock roll, in the prop roll, sorry. Uh, hopefully the extra speed can get something done. Now Eddie Oliver goes to Anthony McDonald. He goes short ball Lillard, and he goes back inside to Mark Lee. That's one, it's just not happening for the Broncos at the moment, Muzz. Yeah, definitely not. Mark Lee just plucks that one out of the air, and Daly straight through the line. That's a very good line being run by him, and Davis is a recipient of the offload as well. Titans, they're just unstoppable. Oh, what Ooh, a ball. A huge pass out to Liam Ryan. I thought it was going to go past Rockamani there, but unable to. They're going to have two, three tackles here. A long time in this set. McKay goes to Justice Daly. He's brought down 10 metres from the line. I'm sensing another grubber here. A little settler into the grubber. Hayden Davis takes the hit up. Where's McLucky? He's lurking just to the right of the ruck. But it looks like they might go for the bomb. Ah, very interesting. Freaking McKay underneath it. Unable to get there. Right on Manu in a great take. Yeah, Manu takes that one nicely. Just trying to stop this onslaught by the Titans. And the Broncos, they'll just want to try and get the ball as far away from the end goal as possible to try and save themselves here, because this is just... It's hard to watch for the Broncos fans, I would imagine. Yeah, they just want to see something from their team. Just something that hints that there's going to be some hope next week, because at the moment, it's all Titans. John Baker's is a bit 40, of hope. 20, maybe this could be it. Oh. Yeah, Liam Ryan takes it out. That's a beautiful kick. We would have loved to see that about 40 minutes ago, but it's good work from him, and 
Look, the Broncos have just got another opportunity here and they need to pounce on it. Yeah, maybe this could be actually a chance for most points scored across both teams. I'd have to look that one up, but Sam Lillard trying to That's get over the line there. I'm not sure what that is. I think it's around 70, so it could happen here today uh, with either of these teams scoring another try. John Baker's, it could be him. John Baker's over the line. Yeah, he's definitely gotten that one. That's that's another try on the tally for this game. And, geez, this game just it keeps on giving. The tries have just been everywhere. Everyone has gotten a try. I mean, not everyone. It's mostly just been Edwards and uh, Liam Ryan for the most part. But, man, they just <laughs> love a try in this game. Yeah, we talked about the shootout. And, yeah, the Broncos eventually pulled back the lever of that crossbow to reload it and fired another shot. But it could be too little too late. Eight minutes left in this game. John Baker surely will kick this. Surely oh, will not kick this. John Baker, I'm very curse. sorry for that. <laughs> very, very sorry for that. But I thought he was going to slot it. Oh, that was... It was a close one. It was... He would have really liked to get that one, but just... Not able to break that 30 points uh, barrier. Broncos will be on 28. Hopefully, we see him get a few more points on the board at, by the end of this game. There's only eight minutes left to play here, but let's see if we can, uh, if they can pull something out of the hat here and make something happen for the team. Yeah, and this is officially our highest scoring game. It used to be a 54-24 game. And yeah, we've got more points here, so congrats to all players involved. I've loved the optional defense from the Broncos to really contribute to this record. Amali Ake with a nice little break here. The game's not over. Oh. oh, and he gets the pass out to Zach Brown and he gets the pass back to Simon Hunt eventually brought down about 18 metres out from the line. The Broncos aren't finished here. Could we see a 30-point score from both teams? That would be quite remarkable. Yeah, that would be absolutely insane, but oh, oh. the forward pass comes once again and that is disappointing from the Broncos. Disheartening. Release. Very but it gives the Titans a chance here to crack the individual record. They've got the combined one across the game. And Liam Ryan wants to get it done. A nice little 30 meter dash there from him. It's going to be followed up by Daly, but he's unable to get past. I think that's Simon Hunt, brick wall in defense. He's been really good today, Simon Hunt. Uh, a lot of the Broncos have been a bit leaky, but he's been able to get there. Liam Ryan ball playing out now to Boston. His knee pins the ears back and goes straight ahead. He's going to bring it down fourth tackle in the 40 meter line. They need a bust here to get in tackle. In field. That's exactly. Oh. Floats into Mali Arke. And Mali Arke is away. Mali Arke. Oh, he's gone. Breaks the tackle. Mali Arke is going to score here. An absolute blinder. <laughs> Arke, how good has he been since he's come back on uh, at the 60th minute to come on at prop? He's just uh, blown this game wide open since he came back on. And he's been absolutely phenomenal. Yeah, pounced on that Liam Ryan offload. And then broke a tackle as well. Just two great moments. Uh, what's this going to take us to? 88 points in a game. That's unheard of in the SRL. Yes, uh, that is The crowd is and fans alike have been treated here tonight. Yeah, absolutely. That is just unheard of. Amazing stuff from the teams to get this many points on the board. And you can't even really judge the Broncos just because... 34 points, that's enough to beat most teams on any day except for today. Yeah. Yep. The Gold Coast scoring 54. Just absolutely insane stuff we're watching here. Yeah, you're exactly right. If my team scored 34, I'd say that's a good day at the office. Um, of course, you never count on conceding 54 points. That's a bit not so good for the Broncos here. But, yeah, good good signs here. We asked for something from them, and they've come back with it. Caleb Jeff takes a big hit up. Four minutes left in this game. Is there any more tries? You never say never. Oh, I thought that was an instep there. Simon Hunt. I was able to snatch it out of Freaky McKay's hands. He's going to play it. It's going to go out to Sam Lillard. He's been, would you say, quiet since he moved out to that left second row position, Buzz? Yeah, I'd say so. Definitely. Well, most Broncos have been quiet except for RK, I reckon. But, oh, Caleb J. Just, uh, Caleb Jeff, sorry. Just making his presence known. That's very good from Caleb. And the Broncos are just... Not able to get out of their own half here. And Titans, they might have one more crack at trying to get a try on the board here. 
Yeah, Zach Brown goes all the way down to Nate O'Donnell. We've barely seen him touch the ball. Uh, and he goes straight past one, but Rakamani wraps him up. Talk That's about one, players we haven't seen the ball. Justin plays. Where has he been tonight? Well, he could have fooled me. I don't even think I've seen him touch the ball at all tonight. Yeah, I, I don't think we've called his name, except for talk about the veterans. Is now O'Donnell goes again. It'll be very interesting to see the uh, the full time stats. He might have had one run if that. Now Murray goes out to my lucky. He goes to Daly. He can't go anywhere. Fourth tackle here. Once again, they need a bust. Who do they go to? They go to Ben Cummins. He can't get there. So it's going to be the last time the Titans touch the ball this game. Assuming there's no unfortunate errors. As Borson goes down to, I think that's Dylan Sharp. It is. And he's passed one, but brought down a good tackle there. Borson's the captain in the 79th minute, chasing down his own kick. That's inspirational. And now it's to RK. Free K doesn't let him get past it again. I actually, I've been racking my brains. So I genuinely don't think Plays has had a touch. Now Rakamanu gets it. He's going to be brought down on the feet of the 40 meter line. Maybe a little stat padding 40 20 here from the Broncos. No. They go out to John Bakers. He doesn't want to kick it. He's going to be wrapped up here as the Hooter goes. And the Titans run out. Resounding winners. 54 points to 34. Yeah, and wow, what a game. That's just not something that you expected coming into this, seeing an all-time high point-scoring record game. And geez, that was just an insane matchup, wasn't it? Definitely one for the uh, one for the history books for this Queensland Derby. It is, and we speak about a Derby, a lot of passion in that game. And yeah, it's going to be hurting the Broncos to go down like that and the Titans... Well, we know how they are, even when they're losing. So they're going to be stoked with that one. As you look at some stats, uh, Broncos had more completions with the ball, which is interesting, but they still had less possession. That's kind of an interesting stat. Uh, penalties 3-1 to the Broncos. They won that one, but they also made 30 more tackles despite having less completions. So uh, some funny things there. Line breaks, missed tackles, much for much. So we'll flick over to some individual stats. Liam Ryan. Five tries, 261 metres. What a game from yeah, the fullback. Wow. He really just jumped on that one, I think. 24 runs, 16 tackles, none missed. 12 line breaks. Every second run he took was a line break. Uh, Mark Lee was huge as well. Scored that try with 20 tackles. And Lockie Martin, 192 metres with 21 tackles. That's the three big guns of the Titans, and they stood up today. Yeah, absolutely. It's just an amazing game from all of them. And uh, even though Lachlan Martin, I didn't realize this during the game, but four errors, that is unlike him. But um, there were quite a few errors across the board in both mm -hmm. teams. But it's, uh, overall, Titans just did, they did a very good job in this game. Yeah, and four line break, four arm try assist from Michael McClucky. He had that ball on a string off the boot. Uh, you mentioned Liam, Bright, Liam Rogers wants to fix him. Maybe he has. Yeah, I reckon he has. He's replaced all his parts with... Some sort of cyborg, metallic parts, and turn him into some sort of monster, like Frankenstein's monster, maybe. It's um, definitely new things here for the Titans. It's just an amazing game from them. Yeah, terrific game. And look at the Broncos, and more importantly, find out where Justin plays is. Two runs. Must have been the first half for 11 metres. They just couldn't, couldn't force the Titans into punting the ball. Uh, Eddie Oliver, 27 tackles, four tries, this and a try. Ah, uh, you'd take that one. Yeah, you definitely would. That was a great game by Eddie Oliver. And also, Isaac Edwards as well. He was very good. Both of them kind of just leading the way for the team. First half Yeah, just absolutely leading the way for the team. The Both of them. Just uh, a very good showing from the spine of the Broncos. Maybe, maybe uh, a few people out there in the Broncos team just need to work on themselves and try and get some... Uh, some more consistency in their game, just work on getting those errors out of there. But they showed a lot of heart. They're a very brave team. And as we said earlier, 34 points, that's enough points to beat most teams on any given day. It's just not tonight. Yeah, today they ran into an absolute heater of a Titans side who are red hot. And just a quick note, the run meters of the, you look at the run meters of the Titans versus the run meters of the Broncos, that tells a story. And not a whole lot. Yeah, it absolutely Not a whole does. lot of, um, yeah, Broncos who really sort of matched up there. And I think that's all we have time for tonight. It's the end of the round. We have Origin tomorrow, the decider. How exciting. Will you be there watching, Mus? I hopefully will. I'll, I'll be in the, uh, I'll be on the field, you know, passing out the water bottles and things like that for the Blues. I'll be on the field passing out the ball. 
So I've heard. So Shock heard. selection. Anyway, uh, we'll catch you all tomorrow on SRL TV. I'm Nicholas, joined here by Rizzy. See you tomorrow.